Well hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Julie here with your love reading for April 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes and for all those inspirational quotes in the boxes below. I'm truly grateful for all your amazing energy. Thank you for sharing. I'm slowly going through those comments and uh, I will reply individually in due time. Uh, I'm just a little bit in delay there, but I will announce the second winner of the ring competition. Um, so please bear with me. I will get there eventually. I was guided to do a bonus reading uh, before the love reading. So this love reading is also a little bit in delay. So I do apologize. Uh, just a little reminder also that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. Please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Okay, so without further ado, my beautiful Pisces, I'll get straight to your reading. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What do my beautiful Pisces need to know for April 2020 regarding their love situation? Can you please guide them to what they need to know? Uh, for those of you who, uh, thank you so much, Spirit, I'm truly grateful. For those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the card because I believe that is my energy. And when the uh, cards jump out, that is Spirit giving you the messages you need to hear. Everybody is different. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. It's just the way I work. And we're starting off with the Queen of Wands there. Okay, so Queen of Wands energy. This is a Leo card. So some of you Pisces may be dealing with a Leo at this time. But this is um, also an energy uh, that's surrounding you, Pisces, that you're feeling very confident and self-assured. Okay, uh, and it's, you know, you're being a bit feisty also. It's like um, when you got the Queen of Wands energy, it's... Um, you know, you're in your creativity mode, okay? You're doing stuff that you're really passionate about, something you have really strong emotion about, and you're really having confidence in that area, okay? So um, also, uh, you may be dealing with a feisty uh, Leo person who is a bit overconfident. Um, that's what I'm getting from this. Um, but, you know, you, you have to be self-assured in this situation, Pisces. Um, to stand your ground with this person, okay? Um, because they're, they have quite a large, um, it's not an ego in a bad way, it's like they're just so confident of themselves that um, they, you're very sensitive and you know, you're very deep and intuitive and everything like that. Their energy is quite overwhelming. It's quite a, a large personality you're dealing with here. So um, you, you're starting off with this, um, this Leo energy uh, that, that's coming at me. Now this pl person may have a placement in Leo somewhere, uh, but the Queen of Wands, if you're, you're um, all about that energy yourself, even though you're a water element, um, and this is a fire element, I'm feeling that you're embodying this um, sitting in your power kind of attitude towards this person where you're like, uh, you think I'm going to chase you? Uh-uh, that ain't going to happen. I'm going to sit here and you can come to me. If you want me, you come to me, okay? And also I feel there's a lot of luck surrounding you at the moment. You have the black cat that's just sitting by your side. So luck is on your side with regards to this um, uh, connection here. But it is very passionate. It's very fiery, okay? There's a lot of... Um, you know, there's good passion and there's bad passion. So I can see both of you butting heads here, whoever this person you're connecting to. I can see heads butting, but also like this passionate, fiery, really hot connection there. Thank you so, uh, so much, Spirit. Can you please guide me to the next message for what my beautiful Pisces needs to know regarding this situation? Uh, the cards are becoming a, a bit difficult uh, to shuffle, which means we, we are dealing with a very uh, difficult personality here. Um, they've just come in with, it's my way or the highway. Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Do you want that card? No, you want that one. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles. But they are going to step up and uh, prove themselves, this person will prove themselves to actually be... Um, very reliable and actually very hard working for your affection, Pisces. Uh, so if you're single and you've recently connected with someone or you kind of have feelings for someone um, who is a Leo or has a Leo placement, or they could be a fire um, sign in general, like Aries, uh, Sag, 
also Leo. Um, this person is actually going to come at you, okay? Knights, they normally go for what they want and they charge right in because the object of their affection is someone um, they cannot afford to lose. They, they just, they, they want them. As I said, I keep getting this. It's my way or the highway. And they're really going to charge after you. Now, when you get knights... Um, when they show up in the reading, they normally are quite like lusty and they go for what they want and then they charge forward, grab what they want and then they've got it. So then they charge on, right? But not the Nine of Pentacles. As you can see, this knight is stood right by your side. Okay. It's a bit like this cat, you know, still sitting by your side. There is a loyalty here with this person. Um, and, but they do not come across as that kind of person. They, they, they really feel quite, um, you know, passionate, uh, fly by night kind of energy where you, th you think on the outside, they're kind of like in it for the moment, but actually this person really does want to stand by your side. Okay. With the Nine of Pentacles there, as I said, they're very grounded, uh, dependable, um, you know, very loyal, practical kind of person, even though they've got this fiery spirit about them that um, sort of embodies kind of a Leo attitude, um, this feisty go-getter achiever, okay? So the Knight of Pentacles there is someone you could be dealing with now. Uh, also, <laughs> they I know it's Pentacles, but they uh, just said, guided me to a uh, financial advisor, Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if some of you actually work within the financial sector or um, so you could work with this person because uh, the Knight of Pentacles, you know, Pentacles are always, uh, you know, connected to hard work. And, you know, so you, you may um, have made this connection with someone at work and um, uh, they, they're showing me there's a slight distance at the moment, obviously, because of this pandemic thing that's going on and everyone is isolated in their own homes so you can't actually travel to this person, uh, but I feel there's some sort of connection with work or money regarding this person. Now you may be going, they will uh, guide me further in a moment. Um, you may have gone to this person for financial advice and thought, hot damn, who are you? Um, or uh, you may work with this person or have met them. Um, may, they may not actually work in your actual building, uh, but they may be connected in some way to your work and come to your work to, um, you know, either deliver something because they're showing me this. Every time I get this card, I get a different uh, energy from it. And they're showing me someone who delivers news. Okay. They're showing me now pages normally deliver news. Okay. But with this Knight of Pentacles, I've got with this energy, I've got someone who's very reliable, grounded. They're delivering to you something. Okay. Now this could be, <laughs> it could be a courier, you know, it could be someone who actually physically delivers something to you, but, uh, it feels like someone's delivering advice or something to do with financial, uh, arena to you in some way. It could be someone who is in accounts based in, uh, I don't know, in, uh, another state that's connected to your company and sends on in, uh, you know, the data that you need uh, for the financial figures, someone you're connecting to uh, regarding some sort of financial situation there. Okay. Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. What else do my beautiful Pisces need to know? <laughs> uh, th th they're uh, highlighting that, um, you know, just because it's connected to money, it does not mean they're boring. Uh, spirit really do have a sense of humor. This person is definitely not boring. Um, but, but there is some sort of serious connection to them. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, can I take those? Normally I can't take large batches. Uh, just a moment. Okay. Yeah. They said I could take these ones. Okay. So what we have here. Oh, okay. Uh, you got the 10 of, uh, swords there. Okay. So this is, um, Mm. It feels like uh, what's happened here is there was uh, some sort of connection made between you both, okay? Almo almost like I see you both eyeing each other up and there was some sort of frisson or, uh, you know, this sort of connection here, but it's had to be cut <laughs> because of what's going on in the world, uh, this pandemic, you know, everybody, uh, it's like 
the connections had to be severed in some way. Now, usually in the traditional tarot, uh, this uh, card uh, represents a painful ending, okay? A complete and painful ending with rock bottom. But Spruce guiding me uh, more that this card for you is that the connection here has been severed um, because of uh, the situation that's going on around the world at the moment. You know, everybody's been asked to stay within the confines of their homes. So Spirit is saying, there is a current uh, disconnect going on with you and this person um, that you're dealing with at the moment. Um, and uh, you're just waiting, of course, of course, you're just waiting. This is the waiting card. So they're showing me you're waiting um, until you can make travel plans to see this person again. You're waiting until you can actually physically see this person again or, um, you know, but you're waiting for results there uh, with this card. Um, and you're having to make some choices, you know, do you keep this connection open? You're hoping for the best. Um, Spirit says you are uh, absolutely 100% aware that uh, there was something, uh, some sort of energy or connection there between you, but it's had to be cut for the time being because uh, you're, you're, you're waiting there for things to ease up or um, have some sort of, um, you know, uh, communication between you and the person. At the moment, it feels like there is no communication between you and this person. Uh, yeah, and you're feeling a little bit abandoned there. Uh, you got the Five of Pentacles and it's in reverse. So uh, this again speaks of, uh, there will be hope though, and uh, hope, yeah, okay. So when you get this card in reverse, they've reminded me that um, hope returns when you, you're getting back to work or you know hope returns when there's some sort of new movement on the job situation or a recovery uh, of jobs so this person is definitely um, connected in some way to some sort of financial advice or some sort of financial situation and there has been this dis uh, connect as I said and you have um, yeah, there is new hope coming for you. So uh, they're asking you, because the first card and the middle card are the strongest of the reading, they're asking you to maintain your feistiness, maintain your position of power and everything. Do not be chasing nobody, Pisces, okay? And uh, this, uh, all energy will change and shake up and bring new hope as the situation at work or the situation of being able to travel again um, resurfaces okay when the movement starts to happen uh, hope renews for you because you have this in reverse here and uh, yeah knight of wands things get hot and heavy there when um, that energy shakes up okay so when you got the knight of um, knight of wands there it's almost like um, although this person's definitely sticking by your side and they want something serious from you or with you, should I say, um, you've got the, the Knight of Wands, uh, there is a lusty coming together, okay? This person is hot for you, seriously hot for you, okay? They're very creative, uh, very passionate. As I said, they really do, even though they're very dependable and trustworthy and loyal, they've got this uh, fiery energy about them, uh, you know, a real go-getter and achiever, very interesting, passionate, enthusiastic about what it is they want in the world. They, they really do go for what they want. On. But Spirit is reminding me that, yeah, they, they see you, they, they really want to go for what they want, but look, they stay, they stop right by your side, okay? They're not going nowhere. Once they've got you, they're not going nowhere, is what Spirit is saying. But there is a temporary disconnect here, okay? It's a very creative, um, interesting relationship where you both think outside the box, okay? And I feel like both of you are actually waiting and both of you are thinking about each other. Uh, you're both thinking about this disconnect, like, is this the end? D did we not make that happen? Has, has life kind of got in the way of this connection? Um, that's what I'm really feeling. But hope renews. After the waiting period, hope renews. This is in reverse. It's a hope renews. And boy, are you two going to really lay it on the line passionately, okay? You just Queen of Pentacles. It's, this is uh, going to be about, you know, you could be dealing with the Virgo here um, with this Queen of Pentacles also. Okay, so um, th this is about, you know, being very resourceful with your money. So again, it comes back to this money, some sort of financial connection between you and this person. Um, and this is a time for <laughs> the, uh, when... Uh, okay, they're being a bit sort of naughty in, in that... Um, when you've got the the uh, 
knight here of wands very passionate very lusty between the sheets also they're saying be careful because queen of pentacles is all about you know having babies being fertile so if you don't want to get pregnant uh, if i see the empress uh -huh, they're giving you double warning there they're saying take precautions when you do see this person because your pent-up energy uh, for each other and the way you guys and girls have been thinking about each other uh you know it's almost like throwing uh what is it throwing caution to the wind throwing caution to the wind there pisces now you are a very deep sensual water element sign okay and you go with your emotions you just go with the flow and when you're in the heat of the moment you know we forget about these things but spirit is saying be mindful because when you two finally come out the other side of this like pa pandemic and you reconnect there's going to be a serious like catching up to do okay queen of pentacles is um you know very fertile it's about domesticity this person does and has been thinking about what would life be like if we settle if i settle down with this pisces you know there is this connection they may not be saying it you know they may not even be con you know uh even talking to you right now because we all we've got here is they think the connection is over both of you think the connection is over here so if we see some more swords which is about intellect and you know communication conversation there then we'll know that there will be a communication coming um, but they really are thinking about you okay and thinking about what life will be like with you pisces okay knight of cups yeah so they want to come in and actually give you some sort of romance proposal okay so they've been thinking about you towards the end of april there you're going to get communication because the knight of cups comes in like a prince charming now this is not a gender specific reading um male or female it's about the energy okay you have three knights coming at you okay you've got someone who is good with money who is patient hardworking, reliable someone who is also lusty free-spirited really creative and wants to give you pisces you know a proposal of love this is uh, what they call the prince or princess charming card okay so this person has a love offer for you as you can see again they're stopping by with grace and uh, I really feel it's like I've connected with this energy of they've laid eyes on you for the first time and they were struck and they're like, damn, who's that Pisces? I got to know who that Pisces is. OK, and then they go away. And then when they see you the next time, they're like, hey, uh, so how are you doing? And they're trying to strike up conversation. And every time they see you, they're trying to build up a little bit more, a little bit more. And then um, this pandemic thing he got he or she got to a certain stage of chatting to you and then the pandemic happened and everything went dead because uh there was we all had to stay at home sort of feeling that's what i'm getting but they will come in there with that um connection to you and offer you know offering some sort of proposal so asking you out on a date or you know dinner or you know hey you fancy a, a you know a call you know something they're going to try and initiate some something there where they get chatting to you on a romantic level okay and that's happening towards the end of april you know i have to say out of all of the reads so far i'm really excited about yours because um this person's really got it all okay and you're sitting there uh, almost like you are uh, leo energy but you're sitting there in your power that queen of wands energy because luck is on your side okay and it's not that you don't have to do anything because you are waiting there, right? Uh, but they're co everybody's coming to you, okay? Knights are always traveling and they're traveling to you, Pisces. So you're about to be swept right off your feet. Oh, come on. They're coming in there with the two of cups there, okay? Uh, two of cups. This is, again, it's just highlighting. They, they have romance on their mind. They're thinking about partnership, okay? So for those of you who are already in a relationship, Pisces, and maybe you've been separated from the person that you're with and there hasn't been much communication you're gonna get like a big surprise which is they've been thinking about the next step in the relationship maybe they want to propose to you in terms of engagement maybe they want to you know say let's plan our marriage let's settle down have children we need to be serious about this connection now because it's you that I really want and that time apart has really made them realize how important you are Pisces but for those of you who are single and and we're about to strike up this new uh, love interest connection there this person is coming at you with some serious love moves they really mean it 
they, they've been thinking about you a lot. They cannot get you out of their mind, okay? And that, that time apart has made them go a bit crazy that they're going to be like, they're going to want to be all over you, Pisces. They're so lusty for you. They cannot wait to uh, give you this uh, wonderful, um, it's like them, them giving themselves. Yeah, they really want to, they're going to be more romantic than they've ever been with anyone before. It's like, they're stepping out of their comfort zone, everything for you, okay? So you will get that wonderful uh, connection at the end of April there. It's completely in balance, balance and harmony. You're equally coming to this union together because you feel it is right. But something got in the way and stopped the connection. And uh, I'm being guided to say that it's actually this, um, what's going on in the world at the moment, this pandemic where everything is segregated okay so and you've just been waiting you've just been holding off waiting to the point where travel resumes again because this is also you know waiting to make travel plans etc etc but this renewed hope as this person just rushes on in to say i kind of like you and i can't stop thinking about you that's how they're coming at you pisces okay so i'm just going to get some clarifiers here for you uh, for those of you who are interested, that is um, the Rider Waite Tarot, which is the traditional deck. And I'm clarifying here with the Fountain Tarot by Jonathan Sage. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, for the beautiful message so far. I'm truly grateful for uh, your messages for my gorgeous Pisces. What else do they need to know regarding this connection? Can you please clarify the reading? What else do they need to know, April 2020? What else do they need to know? Can you please guide them to the next message? Um... As I take jumpers from the pack, thank you so much, Spirit. I was going to say, feel free to fast forward um, the, the the shuffling. Everything slips on into place, okay? With the eight of um, coins there. It's about, you know, it's enjoying the process, okay? Enjoying that everything is now coming together. The final piece will slip into place, okay? But right now you feel like, oh... I think it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because we're at the beginning of April, right? So towards the end of April, you'll start to see everything slotting into place. Now, again, this is, um, it's a coins, you know, it's pentacles. So you're dealing with mastering your craft. Once you can get back to doing what you do best, then everything's slotting into place. So I feel you come back into connection with this person, you know, then they will give you uh, how they feel, ask you out on a date or make that love, uh, what's that, a uh, confession almost. But you feel it already, so I don't feel like it's almost like a confession. I think both of you kind of feel it, but they're really underlining it. They're expressing themselves. So everything is slotting into place with this card, okay? They want that over them. Two. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What else do my beautiful Pisces need to know for the month of April? Yeah, they are quite a difficult um, energy, though. They're really, uh, they're quite erratic. They seem quite erratic on the outside, but actually inside they want everything uh, just right. Thank you so much. They're very, uh, sorry, just, um, thank you so much. They're very, uh, they're very dependable. They want everything just right. Uh, but they, uh, how can I put that? They um, they seem on the outside that they're a little bit scattered, okay? Now, you have the Five of Wands, okay? And when you got the Five of Wands, it's about getting over these obstacles, yeah? You, you, your connection has been cut there, but once you get over the obstacles, everything will slot into place there. Um, this is, uh, there's been some challenges, and that is due to things being put on hold. It is due to, um, yeah, the slowing down this isolation mode. You're not able to make the physical connection with the person. And some of you may have even, uh, they're showing me, some of you may even know this person, but not have direct access to their cell phone or something. You don't have their number or something. That doesn't mean the connection is not gonna come back into play here. Uh, there could also be uh, email contact. Uh, this this person's kind of, I don't know. Now, don't think this is stalkery or uh, any, you know, any bad vibes. They're trying to come at you in terms of romance. They may even try and look up your uh, social media or your email and try and connect with you that way. But they don't want to come across as being a stalker. So they're trying to do the best 
romantic thing possible, but within reason and guidelines. That's what I'm getting here, okay? But they're trying to overcome the obstacles as much as you, okay? So that's to go on the waiting card because the Five of Wands is um, something's got in the way of this connection in order to make it in delay, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Uh, thank you so much. It's like a delay of passion because you've got the wands there. Look at that, Queen of Swords. Here she's coming on in, the silence, yeah? But she's she's put down the, the sword there, the sword of truth, in order to communicate. So normally she's kind of like this ice queen who's like, you know, doesn't self-sufficient, doing themselves, doesn't need anybody. Uh, but actually, um, she's put the sword down in this card. So communication will be making its way to you, okay? When we're dealing with swords, it's about uh, intellect, communication, reaching out, conversation there. Now, as I said, they've tried, you know, the stalker card, you see the queen there, she's behind a sheet of glass. Now it's a frosted shade of, uh, sheet of glass there. And it's like, they've been watching you. They've been trying to get uh, ideas on the best way to contact you, but they've been, um, They've been trying to like suss out how best to approach this situation. And I feel like, Pisces, that you may have been trying to look them up also. I'm getting that. Uh, this is also um, a Libra card. So you may be dealing with a Libra or someone who has a Libra placement there um, also coming on in for you. Um, but the communication is coming on in, okay? Oh, they've asked me to put it here. Uh, communication is coming on in and it will be about this uh, love um, confession or a proposal, asking you out on a date, or for those of you who are already in a relationship, stepping up to, to discussing engagement, moving in together, uh, whatever the next step up is. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What else do my beautiful Pisces need to know for the love situation? Can you please clarify this reading further? Thank you so much. Wow, this person's really, I, their energy is, uh, I love it because they're one of those people you, you just don't know what you're going to get. They're not, uh, you can't pin them down, really. Uh, they, they, they surprise you in everything. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. They're really wacky. <laughs> That's the word I want to describe. Them. Thank you so much. Ooh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. So we have here uh, the Eight of Cups, but it's in reverse, okay? So this is uh, learning, uh, it, it, learning from past mistakes in relationships. I feel like both of you are on the page, the same page there when it comes to that. But this card in reverse is about returning home or returning to somebody, okay? When you have it in the upright position, it's about walking away. But uh, when you have it in the uh, reverse position, it's about walking back, making the connection back to that person. So you will be reconnecting with this person after a period of not actually communicating. Uh, everything will slot into place and they're gonna lay it on the line for you, Pisces. They are gonna lay it on the line, okay? Uh, so they're walking away um, from no communication. They're reconnecting with you there. And we have the Four of Swords, but it's in reverse. And Four of Swords is a ready to act, okay? Um, ready to act card. Um, when you have it in the um, upright position, it's about retreating, resting, you know, and having that uh, re renewal of energy. But in the reverse position, that uh, Four of Swords there is about uh, ready to act. They're ready to tell you, they're ready to communicate. Um, how they've been feeling, and they're actually feeling quite restless that they haven't been able to make this connection earlier with you, um, but due to circumstances beyond their control, um, they didn't feel it was the right way to proceed. This person is actually very romantic, and they they are actually taking into account your feelings quite deeply, Pisces. They don't want to come on too strong because they don't want to be classed as a stalker. They want to be romantic enough to impress you. Uh, they really do have loyal intentions and are very dependable, but they've got this crazy, wacky energy about them that you just don't know what kind of person you're going to get um, from one moment to the next. It's actually a really endearing um, energy there. Now, they have asked me to um, highlight the bird there uh, on the sword, okay? And um, although this is a little black bird, I think this has happened before. I want to check that it's in your Pisces uh, reading or if it was in another signs reading, but this blackbird that's on the sword uh, Spirit is guiding me to say uh, it's not a blackbird a robin 
Robin is very important. Uh, Red-breasted Robin is very important and it's coming on in there. So for some of you, uh, that, that is uh, a signifier of uh, something in particular or means something to you or as you hear this reading, you see a Robin uh, and therefore you're meant to hear this um, this reading for some reason, but a Robin, a red-breasted Robin is important, but also maybe the name Robin, uh, Robin, Robbie, yeah, Ro Robin, Robbie, Rob, uh, so maybe the guy or whoever's dealing with this reading or the situation, Rob, Robbie, Robin, is um, important, okay, but definitely they're pointing out the bird to me, uh, and it's a, ro a red-breasted Robin, okay. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Uh, and, oh, it's like I'm getting all of the animals and insects today. Uh, and beetle? Uh, a beetle? I don't know what they just... Beetle? I, I don't know what that's to do with... Look, at, you got two of cups again. Okay, so they're highlighting this person is very important to you. Uh, it is a very deep connection. Um, it, it could be uh, another water sign. Um, it could be you, Pisces, connecting to, as I said, uh, that Leo energy or even uh, Libran energy there. Um, but because you've got the two of cups twice, um, the water element is very strong in your chart. Now, obviously, you are a Pisces, you're, you're a water element, so you could be also dealing with uh, Cancerian or um, a Scorpio there um, with that depth. But Either way, whoever this person is, uh, you're both in complete balance, you're on the same page and you want the same goals. Look at that, you're in unison, coming together, the power of two, okay? This is like two lovers entwined. When you get together, you are um, the yin to their yang. I hate saying things like that, it's a cliche, but that's what they're guiding me, saying you balance them out perfectly, okay? And uh, they do the same to you, okay? and they keep again showing me beetle. Is it like a scarab beetle or something? Uh, it's kind of like a very dark blue. Uh, it, it, a beetle is important in some way. Uh, it, okay, they also said it could be a, a beetle car. Do they have a, is there a beetle car? Isn't that a V? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, it, b something to do with a beetle and a car, okay? So, uh, but also scarab beetle has come on in there, okay? So that's, um, important in some way, um, but the scarab beetle is for protection. So it's almost like um, this blue scarab beetle is, it, this connection for you, Pisces, is divinely guided, divinely protected. And uh, yeah, um, you're being supported in this connection. So please don't feel like uh, things are on hold and it's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna be towards the end of April there. So this is a beautiful connection that you've got a double um, two of cups. Oh, okay. So I'm just uh, rearranging there. Thank you so much, my beautiful spirit guides, guardian angels. I'm truly grateful. I'm just going to give you a, um, an angel oracle card before we go by Doreen Virtue. Oh, you have. Okay, no. Uh, even though creative project uh, did come up there, they've asked me not to take that pile. Thank you so much. Oh, because they want this one. Assertiveness and entrepreneur okay so it's definitely something connected to your work situation here um, we've got assertiveness which says this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving you strength and guiding your words okay so when this person comes on in and, and lays it on the line, because that's what they're going to do, they're laying it all on the line for you, Pisces, be mindful that it takes a lot of courage for them to do that, okay? And if you feel the same, Spirit is kind of asking you, don't leave them hanging, okay? Uh, because uh, obviously reply in the right time for you, but um, they're saying it takes a lot of courage for this person to really go get what they want when they truly desire it. Uh, this person really goes for things um, quite readily, but when it comes to true love, they question things quite a lot to make sure that the, you're the right person and they have decided already that they know you are the right person. Um, so they're going to lay it on the line. Be truthful with this person how you feel. And you've got entrepreneur, okay? And it says here, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates 
who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So some of you may be considering um, doing um, freelance work after this whole pandemic thing that's gone on there. Um, and it will be very successful. Some of you have no choice but to follow that route because some people have lost their jobs there, um, which is an awful situation. But Spirit is reminding you, uh, even on a love reading, they're giving you an extra push to remind you that don't worry, um, it, it, it will all work out in for your highest good, okay? So some of you, this time is used for some people for a redirection, okay? So the job that you're in may not have served you or when you go back to work oh okay they've just come on in and said um, that actually um, you some of you whatever work you have um, you've been able to do some of it from home okay so in the future you may actually have that freelance kind of uh, connection to your work situation because it has been now proven that you can work from home and you don't actually have to be based in the office okay but this connection this romantic connection somehow is connected to finances or you know, financial work uh, situation there so i think right right off the bat as soon as you can move and go back to work i think you may want to go back for this connection okay so thank you so much spirit guys i'm truly grateful um um okay that's interesting they've asked me to uh take a card from this deck which is unusual, it doesn't happen for every reading, Pisces. So um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Golden Angels. Okay, they're just throwing this out at me now. They don't want the whole one, they've asked for that one. Thank you so much, Spirit, I'm truly grateful. Um, <laughs> so uh, this connection here, uh, they, it, it, they want to offer you the world, okay? Um, this is uh, the completion of a cycle. So once you are able to travel again, because uh, this is a travel card, um, uh, they say this connection can take um, they, it can take a physical form. Okay, it can start to grow. So they just want you to be mindful that you and this person will not be able to uh, properly connect until travel is back on the car on the table for you or your work situation, and you can physically uh, move again. Okay, so once travel is back in play, then you and this person can uh, connect. But that's coming on in at the end of April there, okay? Um, when this person uh, steps up to the plate and says how they feel, um, and when you can physically be with each other, it's gonna be a very, very passionate connection. But they do wanna give you the world there, as you can see. There is this beautiful, oh wow, yeah, there's this beautiful, almost sun-like um, object in the back background there, which is a lot of abundance. But they really feel that you, unlock the key to their soul, okay? There is a, a, I don't know if you can see that there, there is a, a physical lock right there. Uh, you unlock the key to their soul. They, they just feel it, they just know it. You know when you just meet a person and you just know they're gonna be really important for, their, for your life? That's how they feel about you, Pisces, okay? So they, uh, Spirit just wanted you to have that, that very last card, okay? It's also about healing, the completion of cycle, learning lessons, etc., etc. But once this cycle is completed, then you and this person will be in very deep connection on the same page. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we go. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, for the angel. What else am I doing for Pisces You want two of those? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you have the mermaid. Okay, which uh, Pisces, you know, plummeting the depths with this person. Very mysterious connection, okay? Mermaids are very mysterious, very free connection, uh, but, you know, plummeting uh, the, the depths of the soul. This person wants a very deep connection with you. They're trying to do the, the best way they can. They're trying to connect to you in a romantic way that isn't, um, doesn't scare you off, basically. Okay, they want to. They want everything to do, to be just right, with just an, enough depth, enough romance, enough mystery uh, and sensuality to get it right, to really uh, step up to the plate for you. That's what they want there with that mermaid. And now they have asked to put that mermaid on the world because they do want to give you the world. Okay, and uh, there's a little girl here, but the, the, as I looked at it, uh, spirit guided me uh, towards Rag Dolly Anna. Is that, that's Ragdoliana? I mean, is that a nickname uh, that, that goes for you and this person? Uh, Anna, is that 
um, important in some way? Have you had a conversation about Ragdolliana? Um, but or they call you doll. That's really old fashioned. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, th this this person here. Uh, yeah, there's something, some sort of connection to a doll or something, or, uh, yeah, ragdoll, ragdolliana, okay? A very sweet little girl there, um, and they want it again on the world uh, card there for you, okay? So uh, hopefully this resonated with some of you beautiful Pisces out there. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is uh, click on the bell. Apparently that's important. Um, and it just lets you know when I update my next message, but it lets me know that you've connected to the reading in some way, which is very important to me, okay? So, as I said, I hope this connected for some of you out there. Uh, thank you so much for all your beautiful energy, Pisces. Love and light.